One of the great features of PowerPDF is its ability to create and apply stamps, watermarks, signatures, and notes as part of the document review and approval process. Whether these are related to the review and approval of medical records, legal files, or financial documents, having these PDF capabilities on the desktop can dramatically accelerate your workflow. Let's take a look at how you can use PowerPDF to apply watermarks, stamps, and signatures, and notes to your document. Imagine you're in accounting and you're responsible for the review and approval of invoices. As part of this, you need to keep a record of when each invoice is received if it was approved for payment. We'll imagine that you just received this invoice, and the first thing you need to do is mark the document confidential. First, we'll open the Watermarks ribbon from the Home tab, and the Watermarks panel displays to the left of our document. From the panel of thumbnails, I'll click and drag the confidential thumbnail onto my document. The Apply Watermark window opens, letting me adjust any settings, like the selection of pages and the watermark opacity, prior to applying the watermark. I'll just accept the defaults and click OK. Our document is now stamped with a confidential watermark, but let's say we wanted to create our own customized watermark, for example, a watermark that indicates our company name. This is easily done, as I'll now demonstrate. At the top of the watermarks panel, notice the purple plus sign. Click the plus icon and the Create Watermark window will open. Now we'll create a new watermark using our company name. Enter a name for the title, and in the text field, I will enter Nuance as the text for my new watermark. Now let's change the color so it stands out against our black on white text. I'll select purple. Notice that as I make changes, I can see the effect of these changes dynamically in the preview window. Next, I'll change the angle of my text to 45 degrees. I'll further modify my text by selecting Outline Only and choosing Bold from the Style menu. There, that looks good. I'll click OK to accept my changes. We can now see our new watermark, named Nuance, in the Watermarks thumbnail panel. To apply the new Nuance watermark we just created, I'll just drag and drop it from the Watermarks panel onto my document. Click OK and our watermark appears as expected. As part of the review process, you may also want to use stamps to indicate if a document was reviewed, revised, or approved. In our example, we are going to apply the approved stamp. This is a dynamic stamp that shows who approved the invoice and the date and time it was approved. To the right of the watermarks panel, notice a toolbar ribbon containing a panel of icons. I'll select the stamps icon to open the stamps panel. Next, I will click the Approve stamp to select it. Move your mouse over the document. Notice how the cursor changes to a crosshair stamp icon. Simply move the cursor to the location where you'd like the Approve stamp to appear, then click on the document. The Approve stamp now shows that your document has been stamped for approval. Previously, we saw how easy it was to create a new watermark from the Watermarks panel. This time, we'll create a new stamp which is also easy to do. One of the ways we can do this is by simply selecting and copying an area in a document. From the Edit tab, we'll select the Edit Area icon from the Ribbon toolbar. Let's create a stamp from the PTX Research title. I'll click and drag around the title, then right-click on the area to open a menu. From the menu, I'll select Create Stamp. This opens the Select Image window. If I want to give the stamp a transparent background, I can click the eyedropper icon to apply transparency and drag it to a white area in the background of my image. In this case, I will drag the eyedropper and click in the white area between the X and R. Now, in the name text box, I'll enter a name, PTX Research, and select a group, Standard, into which this stamp will be added. I'll then click OK. Our new stamp is added to the Stamps panel and is ready to use. Adding comments and notes to PDF documents as part of a document review workflow is very common. This is usually done by typing into a sticky note on top of the PDF. 
Power PDF lets you streamline this process by letting you speak your notes instead of typing them. To use this feature, you'll need a noise-canceling headset and an internet connection. Let's imagine that you just received an agreement from a client and you want to make some quick comments in the document. Simply go to the comment ribbon and click the Dragon Notes icon. Power PDF will activate the annotation tool the first time you use it. Move your cursor across the document and you can see that it changes to a notes icon. We can now just click anywhere in the document to indicate where we would like to add a comment using our voice. The Dragon Notes status box in the upper left hand corner indicates Dragon is ready to record. I can start to dictate. Let's see how it works. Now I can simply speak to add comments in my PDFs. Period. New line. New line. With Power PDF, it is that easy. Period. I then click the Dragon Notes icon again to signal the end of the note. The speech is transmitted to the Nuance server in the cloud for processing, then appears as transcribed text in the note here. This is performed seamlessly, and no account or registration is required to use this powerful, unique feature. As you have learned, these are some of the powerful annotation tools that you can use next time you need to mark up your PDF documents.